What's up, y'all? I'm Matthew. This is Penny, Psycho Cat. Uh, she's a recent addition to the Smith Fat family here. Anyways, I haven't shot a video for a while, but I thought I would share with you this project that I built here. This is a rain barrel root water capture slash fix the problem in this stupid corner of the house. It's been plugging me for years. Extravaganza. So you can see there's a um, kind of a window well there. And the slope of the yard here all comes down to this corner and we had a downspout that was undersized so you'd get a torrent rushing down here it all collect in the in this corner and you know over and over again was trying to was fighting it and so i decided eventually i'm just going to relocate that water to where it needs to go anywhere which is this garden and root goldberg this sucker up but i didn't want a hideous monstrosity um i know i know i know i know i know a uh, hideous monstrosity for because my wife doesn't like these types of projects oh, oh kitty 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 ah oh. all right hold on hold on a second <laughs> so i'm gonna show you what i built uh here in just a second but first i gotta take the cat inside <laughs> All right, so we've got the basics of our water system. You can kind of see up there, I still have a hold a patch right up in the corner there, but uh, double size gutter, three by four, I believe, coming down here, going across there, depositing into that bucket, which will in the future here be the rain barrel system, which will rig up, planning on taking that old length of downspout and running it against the garden fence there on the inside of it and then running some irrigation off of it but today i'm going to go ahead and get that face there i'm going to create a garden arbor across the top of some recycled old barn wood that i found on facebook marketplace i'm going to wrap all the posts four by four around there uh, and hide that downspout a little bit and give some place for some ivy to grow up so that's on the docket let's see how it goes Alrighty, this is, if you're watching at home, it's kind of the, what we did here, made this little trough all the way along. I put some facing boards here, I don't know if you can see it. There, there you go. So that it would hold up this on the other side of it. And then drill in some lag holes here where we're just gonna be putting 3 8 inch bolt along the way so took some old barn wood and faced out the exterior on all four sides and then all we got left to do is put on the front fascia which we cut at little 45 on the end pieces there so looking pretty good that was a long day <laughs> uh got it done it was probably a full two day project. First day, my dad worked with me. We got up all the gutters and the basic footings and the four by fours in there with the framework. Today was all spent ripping barn wood, you know, figuring out the trim pieces and everything. And, um, but it's done, it's about seven o'clock right now. And um, I'll take you to uh, take a look at what actually we did up top here a little bit, if you're interested. Um, I can do it without falling. So this was something, was an afterthought. I really didn't think about it until too late, which was if I had to do it all over again, I would have factored this measurement in and I would have dropped this piece a little bit lower so it would have been flush. Um, I would have had to re-drill holes here to get this to to be flush again so i'm just gonna leave it and call it one of life's imperfections and learn to let go um up here you can kind of see i've added some bracing in the end there uh just to give some more stability i talked a little bit about that uh, another reason why it would be difficult to lower as you can see 
is that I don't have a lot of wiggle room here. So if I dropped it any lower to make it be flush, I would end up exposing my pipe there, which is the whole reason for this project. So we don't want to do that. But um, did add, add the decorative, decorative pieces up at the top, just cut some 45s at the end here with the chop saw, just to give that a little bit of a look. Uh, screwed little holes here and then toenailed uh, the screws up into the top there. Galvanized screws, just finished screws is all we used on that. Uh, these are all lag bolts that I had there, 3 8 inch lag bolts. Um, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, kind of see from the other side here. Got our no mo may. Where next project's going to be aerating that. I'm getting a lawn fork. I've already aerated it. I want to break it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to compost over the top of that. You can see in the back I've already got some of my uh, cardboard compost on the top project going. I'll probably we'll probably end up going either flowers here in the middle or doing some row crops eventually. But I got to build up the soil quality. So one thing at a time. We got this one done. On to the next project. Well, we got our first decent rain after the gutter system installed. And while we still have to get this set up, we have water into the barrel. So it looks like our barrel is almost filled up. So it's soon going to come out the overflow in the back, which I need to hook up to our gutter system here so it'll be complete. But phase one, success. This is a this is just a piece to redirect it down and then this piece here yep. is to transition from this cheap thin wall plastic four inch yep. to the good schedule 40 coming out here where you have more selection in fittings. Where was the Y cup the Y valve? The Y we didn't buy because we decided we didn't really know what we wanted. Okay. So we didn't get the Y, but you you need some sort of a a splitter device, a Y, mm -hmm. where one, I would say, you, if you have a multiple different uh, water tanks, yeah, you you could you can have one or more open. You can have like a, a one of the Ys that just goes across for the horizontal pipe, and you have little Ys that go down into each each barrel with a valve on it. Mm. See, and you have. And you could have another valve up here so you can bypass that whole thing when the things are all filled. Yeah. Or you could just shut the individual valves off. You wouldn't need to have another valve. So anyway, the but then the other straight down, it was going to have to be your, your discharge for excess water when it rains really heavily. Mm -hmm. You want to have it go off in a safe place. And so it would probably, you can buy, you, you would need to then reduce it down I would say it doesn't need to stay four inch. You can go down to probably two inch, or maybe maybe three inch, and go into one of those uh, those plastic things that that roll out into your yard and they're like aerated. Trickle like. Well, it, it would. I think I know what you're talking about. You know, it, it's just for emergency things, and it, it would dissipate the water. Yeah. over a larger area where it's not going to cause damage like you might want it to go over in the neighbor's yard or you might want it to go to up into your general lawn out here you have to think through that i don't know how you want to do it okay. I, and i that just my that's my just plumber thoughts i don't sure. not a landscaper i'm not an irrigation man